Poli. Good night. Good evening. Good evening. That's hey, Oli. That's good. good evening. <laughs> You listen, you listen. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, yes. Es que están haciendo tareas y están grabando videos. Yes, silence. It's, impo it's impossible for me. <laughs> it's okay, Oli. Sometimes it's difficult to be quiet. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hey, oh, first day in the work, in the office. <laughs> yes. Yes. And how was the office? In, in Tuscania, in Tigo. Ah, I heard Tuscania. I don't know where. Yes, Zaragoza. Ah, in Zaragoza. Okay. Yes. Okay. And the day was. Today you had a good day. Ah, uh, so. <laughs> so so. So so. Yes. You don't like going to the office. Um. No. Uh, I not so much. No. no. <laughs> okay. All right. You help. How was your day today? Uh, good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you today, too? Good, good. And you, Helio? Okay. Yes. Uh, well, it was a really great day, you know, because later on the day, it didn't rain. Uh, up until now, we started raining. But I, I had a, a very nice day, really. I enjoy it today. Helio, what do you do? I, I work as a driver. But in for a company or a private driver? Uh, it's, it's a company, but uh, it's, it's, a, it's a corporation. Corporation, okay. yeah. It's what I do. I, I work just, just, uh, just here in, in San Salvador. Uh, I, I, I don't go further in San Salvador. Yeah, I stay uh, on the perimeter of San Salvador. Ah, only in San Salvador. You don't go to San Sanate or no. Oh. I don't go further. I don't go further San Salvador. I so it's only 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 in the in the capital. That's capital. It. That's good job then, Helio. You are in the yes, in the, indeed it's it's, it's 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 a good job. Yeah, I enjoy it. Yeah, driving around. And Helio, better. how long have you worked in this company? I've been like uh, four years. Four. Uh, this could be the the fifth year. Yeah, next the four and four and a half years. Okay. Yeah. Yes, it's some time now. Some time with it. Yeah, it's it's it quite it quite a bit, quite a bit okay. a year. Yeah, but uh, it's a it's a good job though. I like it. I, I like it because. Uh, my schedule is various during, during the week. On Monday, I, uh, I get in 12 o'clock. <sighs> Tuesday and Wednesday, see in the morning. Thursday and Friday, 8 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, eight hours that I work. But uh, it's, not, it's not that heavy though. Yeah, it's just. It's a very easy job. Okay. Yeah, with, with, with big responsibility though. You know, because driving is a big responsibility because one uh, can be driving you know, very carefully, but uh, someone else is not. Mm -hmm. you know, that's true. why it causes the accidents very, very, every day, every day, a lot of accidents because a lot of Crazy people, you no know, unkind, unkindly people driving, 
you know, we have to be careful about those people. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yes, that's good. As long if you are careful, it's better. You have to be careful. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, I I don't rush. I don't rush driving. No, I take my time because it's not, it's not worth it. It's speed it up. Oh. It's not worth. No. Okay. Good. Well, today, guys, we're going to be looking at the topic about expectations. And expectations has to do with the future. So when we're talking about expectations, we're talking about things that you want in the future, right? What you expect, how the things are going to be in the future. Many times we use the when or if, okay? So like when we travel or when we do something else. This is 5.7 in the platform, 5.7. First, let's watch the video and then we discuss it. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to express expectations, particularly cultural expectations. For example, you'll learn how to answer the following question. What are you supposed to do when you go out on a first date? Um, the answer to that question can be, well, in the U.S., when you go out on a first date, you aren't supposed to kiss him or her. And just like the image that you see at this time, what are you supposed to do when you shake someone's hand in the U.S.? Um, what are you supposed to do when you shake someone's hand in, uh, let's say, Japan? And the answer to that question is much different. So that's what we're going to learn in this particular class, how to structure those ideas together. Let me quickly present the structure that we're going to follow at this time. What you're going to see is that we're going to express the expectations. We're going to have some sort of situation. Um, and then um, we're going to express the expectation with either supposed to or it's the custom to, either you're supposed to or you're not supposed to. Um, and so let's look at the examples at this time. When you visit some. Okay. So as you can see, first you put the situation, right? When you visit someone, if you want to bring someone, if whatever it is, whatever the situation is, but then you put in the second part, the expectation. What is the expectation here? It's custom to, you aren't supposed to, you're expected. If you notice, we use the verb to be, and we're describing our action, the activity, okay? That's the idea. So let's watch more of the video and see how they give us the examples. Someone, it's the custom to bring a small gift. Of course, this depends on the situation. You aren't supposed to arrive early. And again, this varies among different cultures. Um, if you want to bring someone, you're expected to call first and ask. You're supposed to check with the host it's not acceptable to arrive without calling first. So let's try to understand this particular idea here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write the structure and I'm also gonna um, borrow one of these examples that you see there. Um, let me just make this a little bigger. One second here. All right, um, I think I, I should have, all right. So what I want to do at this point is just um, point out um, the following, that um, the structure, the way that it works is either we're going to use an, a when or an if clause. And what do I mean by a when clause? Well, it's this situation that I mentioned here at the beginning. When you visit someone, right? If you want to bring someone, that's what I refer to when I say a when or an if clause. That's what it should be here at the beginning. After that, you should include a subject. Uh, in this case, uh, the subject is you. All right. So the the expectation is when you visit someone and then you, then it's going to follow the verb to be. The verb to be can be either uh, in its positive form. It could be negative. In this case, it happens to be that. Okay. Let's go a little bit ahead because. We, we get the, the idea, right? 
here we talk about the situation, what you're thinking of, okay? If someone is getting married, when you visit them, uh, when you go to someone's house, when you go on a date, anytime you're talking about the situation, you can use when, or if you have a, an action that you want to describe. For example, if you want to invite someone, if you want to bring someone, if you want to visit someone, you can have the different expectations. And then we have the structures, right? Which is the clause at the beginning. Then we have the if, let me put this a little bit more. The, the subject, you, he, the people in general, the verb to be, depending on the pronoun. And then notice here, we use many times supposed to, but it's not obligation supposed to. You can use other words, for example, custom to, or it's expected, or, or in the negative, not expected. And then of course, the complement in the verb, okay? So what happens when you go out with friends? Ah, it's acceptable to split the bill. This means it is normal also. You can say it's normal to split the bill. This is, means that it's a, a split the bill is when you share the cost together, okay? So what, what we're looking at is really like, ah, when you have your first day of class, what do you do? Ah, you are giving the advice in general. Ah, when you have the first day of class, uh, you should or you, uh, you need to have a notebook, for example, right? It is exp it's expected to be on time. You are supposed to be prepared. Things like this. Okay, similar to when we use the recommendations like should or could. Now let's finish watching the rest of the video so we have the ideas. Most the bird, but um, all, all of them, um, you should be able to form uh, simply by following this uh, structure that I um, put here. So what I would like for you to do now is I would like for you to think about lots of cultural aspects uh, from your country. Um, so, for example, what are you supposed to do when um, you're invited to a wedding? Um, what are you supposed to do before you get married? And then you want to uh, share what's the custom, what are you supposed to do, uh, what are you expected to do, and then make lots of different sentences related to cultural aspects. Okay. And that's what we're going to practice. We're going to practice those cultural aspects. Now, what does that mean? That means we're going to talk about common things. So for example, Roxana, what if someone wants to get married, what are they expected to do? You're Roxana, mute. your microphone You're is mute. off. <laughs> <laughs> I only see your mouth. Yes, open and close, open and close. Okay, okay. Uh, when when someone gets married, yes, it's my it's my custom to to give a a gift. Okay, yes, that's fine. And that's how you use it. When someone gets married, the situation, and then your idea, ah, it's a custom, it's normal to, it's a hot, any of those situations, okay? So it's normal to give a, a, a gift. Or if you are a man and you want to get married, it is a custom to buy a ring. Imagine they say, Roxana, will you marry me? But I don't have money for the ring. Maybe next year. <gasps> no, you don't accept, right? <laughs> my ring. I need my ring. That is <laughs> Roxy. Oh my God, Roxy! Congratulations. Exactly. <laughs> mm -hmm. and but I am uh, Jennifer Lopez with the song. <laughs> <laughs> Good, good. And that is the idea. So in this moment, we're going to talk about that, okay? So with our partner, we're going to talk about cultural aspects. Give situations. If you meet someone for the first time, if you go on a date, if you go to a wedding, if you go to church, 
whatever the different aspects okay it, or when you go for the first time ah the if you go to El salvador for example it is expected that you try pupusas this is, is everybody that comes to El salvador the first is hey you need to do pupusas uh-huh teacher stolen my idea <laughs> hi elena Sorry. <laughs> El Salvador is very dangerous at this. <laughs> uh -huh. So, okay. So now we're going to go with our partners. And today we're going to make groups, groups of three. And we want to be creative and think about different opportunities, different places, and then tell our partners. And then we come back and share. Hi everyone, by the end of this class you'll be able to express expectations, particularly cultural expectations. For example, you'll learn how to answer the following question. What are you supposed to do when you go out on a first date? Um, the answer to that question can be, well, in the US, when you go out on a first date, you aren't supposed to kiss him or her. And just like the image that you see at this time, what are you supposed to do when you shake someone's hand in the U.S.? Um, what are you supposed to do when you shake someone's hand in, uh, let's say, Japan? And the answer to that question is much different. So that's what we're going to learn in this particular class, how to structure those ideas together. Let me quickly present the structure that we're going to follow at this time. What you're going to see is that we're going to express the expectations. We're going to have some sort of situation. Um, and then uh, we're going to express the expectation with either supposed to or it's the custom to, either you're supposed to or you're not supposed to. Um, and so let's look at the examples at this time. When you visit someone, it's the custom to bring a small gift. Of course, this depends on the situation you aren't supposed to arrive early and again this varies among different cultures um, if you want to bring someone you're expected to call first and ask you're supposed to check with the host it's not acceptable to arrive without calling first so let's try to understand uh, this particular idea here what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the structure, and I'm also going to um, borrow one of these examples that you see there. Um, let me just make this a little bit. One second here. All right. Um, I think I, I should have. All right. So what I want to do at this point is just um, point out um, the following, that um, the structure, the way that it works is either we're going to use an, uh, when or an if clause. And what do I mean by a when clause? Well, it's this situation that I mentioned here at the beginning. When you visit someone, right? If you want to bring someone, that's what I refer to when I say a when or an if clause. That's what should be here at the beginning. After that, you should include a subject. Uh, in this case, uh, the subject is you. All right. So the, the expectation is, when you visit someone and then you, then it's going to follow the verb to be. The verb to be can be either uh, in its positive form, it could be negative. In this case, it happens to be that it's on its negative form. So when you visit someone, you aren't, uh, then this is going to follow supposed to. You aren't supposed to, and then it's going to follow the verb. So in this case, the verb is arrive. You aren't supposed to arrive early. And then finally, it should follow the complement. Let me give an example with another clause. So in this case, I'll use a clause. So I'm going to say, if the service 
in a restaurant is good, okay, that's the if clause, okay, then this I mentioned is going to follow the subject, okay, you're um, supposed to, okay, and then that's going to follow the verb, so you're supposed to leave a tip, and then there's going to be some sort of compliment. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and color this in green just so you can see that this is the when or the if clause. So in this case, it's the, it's the if clause that I'm using. So let me just quickly point that out, right? Um, after that, follows the, it follows the, the subject and the verb. Uh, in this case, the verb to be. I mentioned that the, the subject and the verb to be can either be uh, positive or it could, it could be uh, plural. So in that particular case, what you see there is that um, I'm using a contraction, right? So that's that's the subject and the contraction of that verb. Um, and then we use supposed to, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and color that in appropriate color, the one that I chose. Uh, and then it follows the verb, right? And then whatever complement that uh, you wanted to uh, choose. So uh, this is uh, my opinion and the opinion of many people. If the service in a restaurant is good, you're supposed to leave a tip. Uh, again, this varies among different cultures, and in some cultures, it's not the custom to leave a t uh, to leave um, any tip whatsoever. Right? Let me go ahead and uh, give another example here. Uh, what I'm going to say is, when you go out with friends to dinner, all right? Um, and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the subject a little bit. I'm going to say it's, uh, and instead of supposed to, I will say it's acceptable to split the bill. So there are other examples that you can see here. Um, we can use um, it's the custom, right? Um, you can use it's acceptable or it's not acceptable. I mentioned the, this can be positive or negative. Yeah, you're expected to, which is an, an example that I did not give, but um, um, it would follow that expression and then it follows the verb. But um, all, all of them, um, you should be able to form uh, simply by following this uh, structure that I um, put here. So what I would like for you to do now is I would like for you to think about lots of cultural aspects uh, from your country. Um, so, for example, what are you supposed to do when um, you're invited to a wedding? Um, what are you supposed to do before you get married? And then you want to uh, share what's the custom, what are you supposed to do, uh, what are you expected to do, and then make lots of different sentences related to cultural aspects. Okay, guys. So now that everybody's back, let's take a look at some of the things that you mentioned, right? What are some of the things that we do talk about? What were some of the topics? Getting married, going on the dates, what else? Me, teacher. <laughs> okay, Leticia. Uh, when I study university, class mm -hmm. uh, usually arrive uh, early. Uh, say, say the sentence again, Leticia. Repeat, Hola. repeat the sentence. Repeat, okay. 
uh, when I start university, university class, I usually uh, arrive early, arrive. Good, good, arrive, arrive early. Arrive, arrive early. Okay, good, that's a good idea. You're, you're supposed to arrive early, right? Good, okay. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to practice. We're going to give a question and our partner is going to give the answer, okay? So as an example, I say, Helio, what are you supposed to do when you, and then we give the situation, okay? So Helio, what are you supposed to do when you visit someone's house? Helio, you are on mute. Yes. Okay, so yeah, yeah, he was mute. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, when when I when I when I visit someone, when I want to, my intent to visit someone, what I do first is call them to make sure they are they are at home. Because I, I won't decide to just go in and when I get there at, the, at their house. Nobody, nobody is there. So, or well, sometimes they they might be in another in another uh, occupation, and we we cannot interrupt them. So it's better to call them and make sure you know uh, 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 the visit is going to be okay. This is way what I do first. Well, after after that, make make sure that they are okay, that this will be all right. But I, I try to, to get a gift, like, like a cake, a pastel, and something that, that, that uh, I know they, they, they might enjoy. It. Uh, you know, when we are, when we are gathered together, so we, we enjoy it you know, among, among all, all the families. It's, 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 what I, it's what I do. Good. Remember, that's why that's why you're supposed to use the, the, the vocabulary. Uh, you are expected to. You are supposed to. Yes. Oh, yeah, I see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah okay. So yeah, I, yeah. Your answers are correct. Yeah, the good answers. Only we need to use the grammar, right? The correct. Oh, the grammar, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Tell you, so you, you ask someone else. You ask another classmate. You decide. Okay. Let, let, let me. I, I, I talk to. I like to talk to Rosana. Anna, okay. Uh, I'm going to ask Rosana. Okay. Rosana. <laughs> I am ready. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so right. Okay. okay. <laughs> what what, what uh, would you do? visiting to let's say uh to grandparents parents okay. my grandparents okay. grandparents yeah uh but at the moment my grandparents die or all, all die oh they, they uh, yeah, passed but, away but they pass, but pass away. Pass away, yeah. Uh -huh, they and away. Uh, but when I visited my my sister, mm -hmm. my it is a custom mm -hmm. uh, to give a, a a gift like a uh, like a, something for her kids for their kids. Um, only that. <laughs> I don't know if I say the sentence in the correct way. <laughs> yes, the sentence is in the correct way. Exactly. Yes, you, you, you because she has right. she has three three children, and they expectation is if I is uh, is uh, is to give some gift to them. Okay, that's good. 
Okay, now Roxana, you ask someone else. Okay. <clears throat> Edwin. <laughs> Edwin Chacon. Uh, what is your custom if you if you visited your your relatives? What is my custom for my relative? If you visit okay. your relatives. Right. So what do you do when you visit? Or your friends. Okay. Oh, what are the, uh, uh, when I visit uh, my friend, um, I just go to his house and tell him, let's do something, example, let's, let's cooking or let's go buy some food and super selectors and let's take some um, drink like you know like Suprema Corona and some mojitos this is the visit this is the custom for Oli <laughs> yeah because yeah, we're yeah. gonna I, we're gonna have a, a good time and enjoy you know the the visit this yes. I don't know that's my opinion okay Ask a question. Okay, so now ask the question. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna say to um, Letty. Okay. 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 What are you supposed to do when you go to visit to any family to the hospital? Ah, okay. In a hospital, it's a very difficult uh, um, give <laughs> uh, when I visit a hospital. Uh, I consume um, a fruit um, or sometimes they like some, some flowers, perhaps. Some flowers. Flow, flowers and a chocolate. <laughs> good. good like Remember, make the structure. Use the grammar. Make the sentence. Okay, teacher. And, and when I visit, mm -hmm. when I visit a costume, um, giving, giving fruit. To give, to give. To give a uh, fruit, uh, flowers, or something they like. Good. Okay, thanks. All right, let me. Now you ask someone. Okay, Oli. <laughs> Oli, what, what is your habit or custom? And when you visit your friends. In the home. I know yeah. visit my friends. I know, no, I know, no, I'm not come here. They come here on my home. See. Uh -huh. what, is, what is your uh, custom? Uh, when you visit um, your is, is um, una parents. pregunta. This question uh -huh. was... No, but you have to answer. <laughs> have to answer. Is it a is it a oh, okay. question? No, no. It is... <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, is a you, can do it. you can do it, Oli. <laughs> Oli, Oli, no, you no. can do it, Oli. Oli, you can do it. Oli, Oli. Oli. Edwin, eh, sí, Edwin, sí. teacher. Sí. Oli, Oli, what happened? No, no. What happened, Oli? You can do it. 
No, ah. I know here. Ajá, ajá, Oli. Entonces, ¿cuál valía dos puntos? Ah, I know, I know visit is my father, my no, father sí, is dead. Sí, 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 is, uh, No, not your father, remember. No, entonces, no sé qué. I did. And my father did a. Let me. You being eh, quickly point that out, right? Bueno, okay, Oli, I, I help you. Here is the structure. Remember, here is the structure. Más. Mañana inglés. Repeat. Please. Here is the example how to answer. If you visit your father, when you visit your parents, when here is all you have to do is complete with your idea. Okay. I know visit my father. My father is dead. Uh, 19 uh, years. Yes, but when you visit your father, it's not you only, it's the recommendation, it's the expectation. Uh, okay, no visit my father yet. It's, it's very uh, sad for me, yes? Okay, only, no problem. Sorry, sorry, okay. sorry. No, no, no problem. Okay. Sorry, sorry, okay. Teacher, yes. teacher, I yeah. don't understand about the last one that you said. Uh, you said this structure is when you recommend something. When you, uh, you can you 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 don't say in that way. When I visit someone about you, it's, or it's only when you uh, express your uh or someone else for both for both roxana is normal is to use for other people not normal for you because you don't say um the the situation normally you give the advice or you give the recommendations for example i tell uh, i tell edwin hey edwin when you visit your my mother when you go to the movies then you are supposed to it's a custom to it's a habit normally no uh -huh visit mm -hmm. and, and <laughs> i i um i am talking in the wrong way <laughs> because i i said i when i yes about me yes you can use i but it's not common but it's not common because in the conversations normally is not is not about you it's about Ah, I, I visited Salvador. And then what do I do, Roxana? Ah, when you visit El Salvador, you do this. When you go to a wedding, uh, what what it, I I never go to a wedding. What do I do? Ah, when you go to the wedding, you need to. It's it's okay the two, but it's not normal for I, because normally no I do. It's normally tell the person to do. Okay, for example, in the in in the case uh, that Edwin said to Letty, when mm -hmm. you when you visit when you visit someone in the hospital, you your you it's, it's your custom yes, or is your expectation I, no, no. to give I, no, 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 no. something or what or how? So right here, this one right here. When you visit. When you visit someone in the hospital, you or it, you are supposed to take uh, flowers or it's a custom to take a small gift or it, something like that. Mm. Or you're expected, you're expected to call or you're expected to, to, uh, to check if they need something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for example, when when I say if if you want to visit your if if you want to visit your friend, it's supposed to give a gift or a, a or, or it's supposed sure, to supposed call to, first. You're supposed to call first. No, it's you're supposed to call first. You're to yeah. Mm -hmm. That is the correct structure. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, it's for, okay, I understand. <laughs> okay, but, but, the, but the two forms are correct, Roxana, the two forms, because I can give an example for me. When I visit my friends, it's expected I call first, but it's not normal when I give the example. It's, it's normal to give recommendation. Okay. Okay. The structure is better for recommendation. But yes, it's better for recommendation because this is the expectation or the things that the person needs to do or should do. Oh this, yeah. This okay. is why that is better. Okay, Roxana, I want you to try. I ask the question, Roxana. Oh, question about what? <laughs> the same, any situation, ask a question. But to someone else? Yes, oh ask, ask Jacqueline. Jacqueline always is quiet, never participate. Ask Jacqueline. Uh, uh, ah, there, you see Tell them? me, tell me, what is, uh, 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 Oh, uh, Jacqueline, tell me what is what is your recommendation if I visited uh, the United States? <laughs> exactly. There you go. It's correct. Okay. Yes, it's correct. If okay. you are going to visit United States, uh, you're supposed to have a passport and all your IDs. I mean, your documents or things like that. And also, you're supposed to have money to spend during your journey and also and you're supposed to know what kind of place do you want to visit it hey. thanks jacqueline <laughs> very good very good very good exactly <laughs> yeah exactly. i understand the idea now <laughs> now is better okay good yeah. jacqueline ask jose okay jose what are, what are you supposed to do when someone uh, asks you if you want to watch a movie with them? Uh, well, if someone asks me if I can watch a movie with them, um, very unexpected what kind of movie we're going to watch. We're going to see and which is the place. So, so, Jose, so, so. Remember, it, let, me, let me give you the presentation again so that you can see, okay. So if someone asks you here, for example, the movie, right? If, if you want to see a movie with someone. It, I did not give, but. You are supposed to, uh, you're supposed to, for example, pay for the popcorn, or you are supposed to buy the tickets or the different situations. Or maybe if it's at home, right? If, if you want to see at home, you are, supposed, uh, you are supposed to decide on the movie. This is like- Yeah, I think that wasn't the, I was thinking like a Roxana, the priest. Ah, okay. uh, using using I and not uh, yeah like that. Okay, good. Okay, good. Ask Reine. Ask Reine, Jose. What are what are you supposed to do when you when you visit? Uh, your daughter. I'm sorry, Jose, I can hear you. What are you supposed to do when you visit your daughter? When I visit my daughter. 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 Uh, when I visit, when you visit your daughter, you're supposed to do to give you're supposed to give and uh, some fruits or or just supposed to be to give a a little gift from her okay okay yeah exactly this is how it is it's it's okay now for everyone yes yes i think so yes teacher okay 
let me yes, see if it's correct. Let me see if we have the idea. Edwin, okay. What should I do if I want to improve my English? Want to improve, uh... If I want to improve my English. Okay, if you want to really actually, I think it's study a little bit more. Okay, that's it. Yeah. Because you see the structure. If you want to improve your English, the situation, and then the expectation, you are supposed to study more. Yeah. It's better? Yeah. Okay. Yes, now, teacher. All right, good, good. Now we're going to go to our groups and we're going to give opinions and things for different professions or for languages. If I want to get a new job, okay? Ah, if you want to get a job, you need to, and then the situation, right? Oh, I want to improve my fluency. I want to improve my listening. I want to improve my speak. Ah, all the different situations, but we want to practice with our partners. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Let's try. expectations, particularly cultural expectations. For example, you'll learn how to answer the following question. What are you supposed to do when you go out on a first date? Um, the answer to that question can be, well, in the U.S., when you go out on a first date, you aren't supposed to kiss him or her. And just like the image that you see at this time, what are you supposed to do when you shake someone's hand in the U.S.? Um, what are you supposed to do when you shake someone's hand in, uh, let's say, Japan? And the answer to that question is much different. So that's what we're going to learn in this particular class, how to structure those ideas together. Let me quickly present the structure that we're going to follow at this time. What you're going to see is that we're going to express the expectations. We're going to have some sort of situation, um, and then uh, we're going to express the expectation with either supposed to or it's the custom to either you're supposed to or you're not supposed to um, and so let's look at the examples at this time when you visit someone it's the custom to bring a small gift of course this depends on the situation you aren't supposed to arrive early and again this varies among different cultures um, if you want to bring someone you're expected to call first and ask you're supposed to check with the host it's not acceptable to arrive without calling first so let's try to understand this particular idea here what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the structure and I'm also going to um, borrow one of these examples that you see there um, let me just make this a little bigger one second here all right um, I think I, I should have. All right. So what I want to do at this point is just um, point out um, the following: that um, the structure, the way that it works, is either we're going to use an a when or an if clause. And what do I mean by a when clause? Well, it's this situation that I mentioned here at the beginning: when you visit someone, right? 
if you want to bring someone. That's what I refer to when I say a when or an if clause. That's what should be here at the beginning. After that, you should include a subject. Uh, in this case, uh, the subject is you. All right. So the, the expectation is when you visit someone and then you, then it's going to follow the verb to be. The verb to be can be either uh, in its positive form or it could be negative. In this case, it happens to be that it's on its negative form. So when you visit someone you aren't, uh, then this is going to follow supposed to. You aren't supposed to, and then it's going to follow the verb. So in this case, the verb is arrive. Okay. You aren't supposed to arrive early. And then finally, it should follow the complement. Let me give an example with another clause. So in this case, I'll use an if clause. So I'm going to say, if the service in a restaurant is good, okay, that's the if clause, okay, then this I mentioned is going to follow the subject, okay, you're um, supposed to, okay, and then that's going to follow the verb, so you're supposed to leave a tip, and then there's going to be some sort of complement, okay, I'm going to go ahead and color this in green, just so you can see that this is the when or the if clause. So in this case, it's the it's the if clause that I'm using. So let me just quickly point that out. Right. Um, after that, follows the it follows the the subject and the verb. Uh, in this case, the verb to be. I mentioned that the the subject and the verb to be can either be uh, positive or it could it could be uh, plural. So in that particular case, what you see there is that. Um, I'm using a contraction, right? So that's that's the subject and the contraction of that verb. Um, and then we use supposed to, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and color that in the appropriate color, the one that I chose. Uh, and then it follows the verb, right? And then whatever complement that uh, you wanted to uh, choose. So uh, this is uh, my opinion and the opinion of many people. If the service in a restaurant is good, you're supposed to leave a tip. Uh, again, this varies among different cultures, and in some cultures, it's not the custom to leave a t uh, to leave um, any tip whatsoever, right? Let me go ahead and uh, give another example here. Uh, what I'm going to say is, when you go out with friends to dinner, all right? Um, and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the subject a little bit. I'm going to say it's, uh, and instead of supposed to, I will say it's acceptable to split the bill. So there are other examples that you can see here. Um, we can use um, it's the custom, right? Um, you can use it's acceptable or it's not acceptable. I mentioned the, this can be positive or negative. Uh, you're expected to, which is an, an example that I did not give, but um, um, it would follow that expression and then it follows the verb. But um, all, all of them um, you should be able to form uh, simply by following this um, structure that I um, put here. So what I would like for you to do now is I would like for you to think about lots of cultural aspects uh, from your country. Um, so, for example, what are you supposed to do when um, you're invited to a wedding? Um, what are you supposed to do before you get married? And then you want to uh, share what's the custom, what are you supposed to do, uh, what are you expected to do, and then make lots of different sentences related to cultural aspects. All right. How do we now that we feel better? Is it's a little bit easier to use? A little bit, yes. Yes. Give me an example, Roxana. Let's make sure. Give me an example. Oh, 
Elena asked me about how uh, an, an, an advice about the cook a cake. And I said to her, uh, if you want to prepare or cook a cake, you, you're uh, supposed to, supposed to, uh, I, I, I don't remember the verb. You're supposed to buy, buy, uh, buy uh, all ingredients for the cake and, and look for the recipe on the internet, on okay. the internet. Okay, good idea. Okay. Yeah. And In the structure? In the structure is correct. That's right. <laughs> okay. And that's the idea. The most important. <laughs> that, that, exactly. The important is that we understand the different contexts. It's not only for one. It's not only for this. You use in any context that you give the opinion of what to do. Hey, I'm going to be a driver. Tomorrow is my first day to be a driver. I ask Helio for recommendation. Ah, hey, you are expected to, you are supposed to, hey, I don't know, uh, use the seatbelt, drive slowly, I, whatever. But that's how you use it. When you give the person that information on what to do. Okay. Anybody else, any other volunteer for to give an example? Ah, everybody is scared. <laughs> oh, no. Me, teacher. Okay, Leticia. Thank for you, example, Leticia. <laughs> <laughs> for example, what um, I'm supposed to do to do get a, get a better job. Mm -hmm. Um. The answer is uh, I must have better studies to improve my English. Okay. Let me, ask you, let me ask you, and you make the sentence. Okay. Leticia, what do I have to do to get a better job? Uh, I must have better no, no. study. No, no. The structure, no. The idea, yes, but not the structure. Leticia, no, what do I have to do to get a better job? Okay. Uh, I have. You. When you. When you. No. Leti, your recommendation uh, the, the is for, teacher, the, for the teacher. For the teacher, yeah, for the teacher. What the teacher do, going to do. Oh, okay. So there are other. So here, let me begin with here. Ju, Ju, and your idea. Um, you are, uh, you are expected, expect to. A study more study. Okay, good. You expect but, to study more. Study more and, and improve my English. Okay, good. And your, uh, uh, but not my English. Remember, it's not for you, let me. Yeah, it's for the other. Improve your English. You're exactly. Okay. Okay. This is okay. the structure. It, okay. It's okay, my, but it's not normal. Only in specific situation. The normal is for the other person. Okay. okay, I understand. It's clear. Okay, all Thank right. You. You're welcome. Edwin, give me an example, Edwin. Um, a, uh, example, example, example. Edwin, what is your job? Go, uh, Edwin. Uh, excuse me? What is your job? Uh, driver. Okay, Edwin. I want to be a driver. What do I do? How do I become a driver? Okay, when you you want a driver, uh, you you first start the the car, you know, put the case, okay. and and the the case, and then you start 
and you got uh, if it's a standard you got to put a new and okay. then you gotta go slowly and you gotta carefully and then then you you silver then before before that you gotta check yeah good you got you gotta check yeah. Yes, that's the idea because you are giving me how to drive the car, but I want to be a driver. How do I become a driver? The job? How do I get the job? The profession. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, you have to you have to uh, license. You, hey. you need to have a driver license. You don't have no driver license. You can be a good driver, but if you don't have it, you have a problem. Exactly. That you say. You have to. You need to. You're supposed to. You're expected to. And then the action. Get a driver's license. Have a driver's license. That is how you use the structure. Okay. Okay, guys. Remember, we practice again. We practice more. That's the idea for the class. Okay. Remember. Okay, teacher. Tomorrow we have class because the the day in the week, um, I think it was Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday. We didn't have Monday. electricity. Okay. 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 All right. Have a nice night. I see you tomorrow. Okay, you too. I see you Bye. tomorrow. Too. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.